Well, hi and welcome. I'm Charlie, one of the founders of Charles Marlow. I think you're used to seeing Maria do these tours. Today I'm stepping in. We're at Cancalo between Valdemossa and Dea. Let's go have a look. I'm excited to see this one. So here we are in the courtyard. This feels like the perfect place to start the tour because we've got a mix of the old and the new. The old property was built by Ludwig Salvador back in the 19th century. You may have heard of his name. He's very famous for bringing the international scene to this beautiful west coast through the poets, connections to aristocrats, um, socialites, various people as to that. Here we are with the new build. So in more recent years, this has been added on, uh, been renovated in the last 10 years. Today, we're gonna have a look around the property Use your imagination, we're going to get into the outside spaces, we're going to go and see the incredible wraparound views, you even get a sneak peek of them here, but the main event is out the front. Let's go take a look, and when the sun drops, that's when things get really interesting. So here we are inside the main hallway of the house, this is the pivotal point of the house. As you can see, which is a common theme throughout the property, large light living spaces. Um, upstairs you've got six bedrooms, through here you've got an Italian design kitchen, We'll go on to the old house later, which has got its own chapel, which has been converted into a bedroom. Two further guest houses there. But what I want to show you, what I know you want to see, is this sea view. I've teased you with it. Come on, let's go have a look. Don't worry, I'm going to come back and show you all of this later, but I cannot wait any longer to get you out onto this terrace to see this view. Take a look at this. Look at the way the sea hits the horizon. This view is one of the most beautiful you're going to see along the coast nothing but open sea view as far as I can see. To the right you might even get catch of Safford and to the left you go right up to the coast towards Sestaka and beyond and the sun is going to set here tonight and we're going to be here to show you. So we've spoken a bit about the history of the house. You've had, I don't know, more than a glimpse of this view, which won't be the last time. We'll definitely come back to it. But now I want to start to imagine and think and feel, okay, what is it like to live in a property like this? As we come out to this outside dining area, you start to get a feel of the historic richness of it. Look at this overhanging olive tree, which is actually splattered across the property. This large wooden table is your place. You're going to entertain friends, family, outdoor dining into the evening, but that's not your only option. You've got a large indoor dining area here, which leads out from the kitchen. Over here actually is the first glimpse we get of the two bedroom guest house, self-contained kitchen all in there. But whether you're eating inside, outside, pretty much wherever you are, sat on that terrace or wherever you are on this property, you're gonna be looking at this view. And I think that's what makes it so, so special. So let's head down, we'll walk through the gardens, we'll have a look at the swimming pool below. As I come down these steps to the lower ground level, it feels a good time to mention that this property has its own well. So if you know about there or you know about this area of the coast, it's so important to have that water supply. That's why you get that luscious, glorious feel. In here, you've got a poolside kitchen. So when you're entertaining, you don't need to go too far. And then we come, I mean, take a look at this facade. Beautifully renovated. And when I look here, I'm seeing this 12 meter long swimming pool with again, open sea views. I think I could even see a boat there in the distance coming across that sailing boat. The sun is going to set not far behind that boat in the summer and they'll move across to the side in the winter. Below here we've got a chill out area, again capturing all of those views. It's got its own jacuzzi. In the same theme of entertainment, you can probably just about see the tennis court down there with its own floodlights. So now it feels like a really good time to go back inside. We're gonna start on the lower ground floor, that poolside kitchen, which I mentioned earlier. You've got the cinema room next to it. If you weave through there, you've got the living room, a gym for those of you who are feeling sporty, and also a sauna area. So here we are, welcome back to this beautiful large reception room where we started the tour. This time we're gonna stay internal, look around the house. I wanna start with this living room, which we actually zoomed past to stare at the view before. I just want to say have a look at this space though. This is such a beautiful room with light pouring in because of these windows. We've got them open today 
so you can really feel that breeze. But even in the winter months, you've got central heating throughout, so radiators and an open fireplace. I see this as such a beautiful room to enjoy the inside and outside living. As an extension onto this room, through here we have a beautiful further sitting room. Could be a games room, TV room, but what's beautiful about it is it's snug, it has a fire, but also has three open sides with windows, so light fills the room. But let's go this way. We're gonna go take a look at the dining room. I'd love to show you this, and then we can lead on to the kitchen. And as we lead off the reception room, we come to this dining room, which I mentioned when we were outside earlier. This is a stunning dining room. We've got a table for 12 people. And of course, wherever you sit, you're gonna have a good time. But for me, if I, my house, I'd be sat here taking in that view. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I've mentioned the view enough. I absolutely wanna show you this kitchen. Let's go through here, because we're gonna take a look at this. And here we are in the kitchen, which again celebrates the main theme of this property, which is really big, volume of spaces. This is a really large kitchen, which for me is always really important, whether it was growing up or still now today. The kitchen is the main hub for me and my family. So to be able to cook, do everything you need to do, but also have a place to intimately dine together, whether that's for breakfast, I think despite the various places, I think that's still really, really important. And of course, this Italian design kitchen has everything you would need um, and expect from a kitchen of this quality. So all latest appliances and everything like that you'll find throughout the kitchen. We're gonna head through to that main hub again, that reception room. I'm gonna wander through here and we're gonna take a look upstairs. And so behind me, we've actually got the old part of the house, which we saw at the beginning of the video. This is the lower part, which you've got a cloak room and a boot room. Also, there is a service entry from the back of the property, which has access to the kitchen if you've got staff or if you're doing entertainment and parties like that. For now, we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna take a look at the master bedroom. So as I mentioned earlier, this is an eight bedroom property. Six of those are in the main house. We've got three on this floor behind me, all large bedrooms with ensuite. We've got a staircase that goes up to two further bedrooms. Again, ensuite large bedrooms. One of these bedrooms is actually the old chapel, which they've transferred or converted into a bedroom. There's also a staircase that winds up to a tower, a glass tower with views of Safaradada, um, so a great place for the office. We're gonna go through to the main bedroom now. As I walk through here, I walk past the ensuite bathroom with a jacuzzi bath and rainforest shower. We come into the main bedroom itself, and when I enter here, it's difficult for me to mention or look beyond these views. I mean, absolutely stunning views. I know I've said it from the beginning to the end, but this is really what makes this property very special. When you wake up in the morning, you're met, you're greeted with these views, and I just think that's such an amazing way to start the day. We're gonna move from this bedroom out onto this beautiful terrace, which is where I'm gonna finish the tour. But before we do that, I wanna show you the dressing room. It's a large dressing room, as I'm sure you can imagine with a property like this. It also has an access to the terrace. We're not gonna go that way through. We're gonna come this way through. So come with me out onto this terrace, which again shows you these views and how much they wrap around the property. Here, you've got Sephora Dada. People will be queuing up for that view, I imagine, tonight because it's just such a special place to get that sunset view. That's further down the road. Here, you've got it all to yourself. You've got sun lounges here, which is a special private place for when your guests and family maybe get a little bit too much. You've got your own cocoon of privacy just to hide away from them all. I've really enjoyed showing you the property today. I've had a great time. It's actually been my first tour. Um, so let me know how you think I've done. I'm sure my team will. Um, hopefully they'll let me back and, and show you another beautiful property soon. Like and subscribe. I'd love to show you some more things. If you want to know more about this property, um, our location videos that we've done recently, or anything more, please do get in touch. We'd love to show you around this location, this area, and uh, hopefully we'll bring you a new home soon. Thanks so much. I think this is where I'm gonna stay this evening and watch this beautiful sunset.